Okay, today we're going to go over um, cleaning the OCA on original polarizer. So I've got some iPhone 6s's here where I've stripped the glass and the frame off already. They have got some of the original OCA on, so 0.04mm wire. And after the glass is stripped off, if it hasn't scratched the polarizer anywhere, you can see no scratches are apparent on this one, you can actually clean this OCA off. And in some cases you can reuse the original polarizer with 3 and one uh, glass, which is glass frame and just OCA, no polarizer. So this heat mat is set to 40, it's not too hot, don't want to warp the backlight, and just sort of the normal vacuum on there, the flex will go over the top there and then we'll, it will hold it in place. So turn the vacuum on, screen goes in there. You don't need the screen, you don't need the glue to be warm for the spinning rod to work. Um, the tip with the spinning rod here is, don't get the tip of the spinning rod on the polarizer because you will then scratch the polarizer and that will be very visible after laminating the new glass and OCA. As you can see, it's taking the bulk of the thick OCA off of the polarizer, and it's still leaving sort of residue, which we will see to straight afterwards. So that's one done, and as you can see, sort of the thick bits of OCA are all gone. Just pop that one to the side there. There we go. Let's turn the vacuum off. So it's the two screens now. You can see they've just got some glue residue left. We'll go over and give them a clean now. So the liquid that I'm going to use is just acetone. It's readily available worldwide. And the magic sponge. Now it's, careful. it's good to be careful at this point and not use too much liquid because you see, I started in the middle, and then I'm working my way to the outside. If you start on the outsides, or you get too much liquid on the edges, the liquid will run into the backlight, and then you need to replace the backlight afterwards. It's not the end of the world, but it is avoidable. So this one has now got most of the residue off. You're just left with some streaks. So get a lint-free cloth, again, acetone. Just wipe it over. So the streaks that are there now, you give it a final wipe before laying the new glass on it, but those streaks will not be visible once the new glass is on. If you've got any scratches at this point, any scratches or sort of indents in the polarizer, then that's an issue and you'll need to remove the polarizer and replace it, else that will be very visible as the new glass. So again, I've got acetone on this and I'm just doing the middle first. I'm slowly working my way out to the edges because I don't want to get backlight damage. When the acetone is drying quicker because there's less of it, start working it out to the edges and I'm pushing quite hard with the sponge because I want it to take off the thick glue. Wow, right, that looks like the thick glue gone, so I'll just get another little free cloth, acetone. There you go. There's two screens there that are ready to have new 3-in-1 laminated to them. <laughs> 